Hello, Leo. It's on Omega Tarot, and this is your October tarot card reading. Let's have a look and see what just comes up. Vocally jokes. You know what? I'm just going to go right into it, Leo, because you guys deserve that. Why not? Oh, shh. Oh, Eight of Swords. Whew. Listen, it's the Eight of Swords, and I'm sorry. That just speaks to, like, being kind of stuck. Some of you guys are feeling kind of stuck. Okay. That's not good. Feeling stuck, feeling trapped in a situation, uh, feeling uh, limiting beliefs. Limiting beliefs. You cut yourself out of the situation, but it's like it's all in your head. Okay, good. At least we have control then. Then we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. Leo, listen. You're going to have to summon that inner strength. We got the Queen of Swords. It's supposed to speak to independence. It's supposed to speak to just that unwavering self-confidence. Uh, and, you know, the ability to be, perform, execute, and to be courageous as well. Just be ready for it, ready for whatever, down for whatever, about that light. Queen of Swords, I'm wondering about you. I'm wondering what's going on. We got the Emperor in reverse. Big teens. All right, so that's also Aries energy. The Emperor is associated with that Aries sentiment, which is like, you know how Aries are, you know, they're very, what, what, what can I, what can I sign? They're very, like, self-aware, or maybe not self-aware, but self-involved. Maybe giving leadership management, uh, giving assertiveness, high level of initiative. Hmm. Stuck in a situation that you can change. You got a queen of swords in reverse it, it, ooh okay you know what it's giving leo if i be if i'm if i'm honest you know what it's giving eight of swords is giving me a little bit like self-limiting beliefs you can break yourself free of this situation on your own queen of swords is giving me a little bit of like is the mother mother and father duo or is it like a boss queen of swords wielding their power in a very manipulative way that's making you feel trapped making you feel stuck um, you may have a connection to the Queen of Swords in your life. That could be your mother. It could be a boss. Somebody with authority looking at you and this person is very no-nonsense. Or they're very... Oh, no, they can be nonsense. They could like some silly chats. But I think for the most part, this person is very... Intimidating. Intimidating. You feel stuck. I, I don't understand why you would feel stuck because of this person. Then there's the Emperor. And the Emperor is like above all of that and they're not even you know a leader is supposed to make sure there's some justice some sort of justice going on within the team or when the leader's in reverse it's like that's works against you because oh nobody can touch me because i'm besties with the boss so it's like i can do whatever i want and even if i go complain they're gonna have my back it's giving one of those types of situations i don't know if some leos are in that with like a supervisor um, but the, I think like the emperor again, like with that association with, association with Mars, I feel like it's what's scary about them is the action that they take and maybe even what's intimidating about them is the power that they have. So the authority. So I feel like some of you might be sensing a little bit of feeling stuck because of, uh, a boss and a boss's boss type situation. Now what is going on? We have the chariot in reverse. We got the star. We got the King of Cups. These two in reverse, the King of Cups and the Two of Swords. Wow, wow, wow. What's going on with you? Leo. What you? Okay, so some of you guys have a drive and determination that isn't like actually there, but it's like, I wish I was motivated though. I have a drive and determination, but I wish I was actually motivated to activate that drive and determination because I passionately really, 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 really want to do something that I am not actually doing that I'm, not that I'm not actually doing, that I'm like being slow about doing, taking my sweet time about doing, something's off, you know? Oh, there's something off. And then also cancer energy, so that there might be sensitivity around it, just not wanting to activate open Pandora's box. Then we have the star, and the star is giving us that Aquarius energy, but it's also giving us that desire for an aha moment, an awakening, and a eureka, which, yeah, I could see how that would be a desire 
when we're trying to find that motivation, trying to find that will. Um, but again, I think feel like if some of you guys are in a mental haze where you're trying to break a cycle, I feel like you don't even know when you're doing figure eights in your mind. You don't know where the cycle starts or ends, so maybe it's hard for you to just find that moment to jump out of it, to break that cycle. And I feel like the Eight of Swords is like kind of reminding you that you have the power to change this. You just have to summon that inner strength, right? You, you might even have to activate the Queen of Swords in your own life and just cut the fat, cut the BS. Cut the emotions, cut through the emotions, compartmentalize those emotions like Aquariuses are so easily able to do. Um, and not activate your faith, but just like be like, if I do this, I know I will get this result and just like power crunch that new aura for as long as you need to in order to get somewhere. So Leo, it's, it's feeling like the obstacle is in like the feeling of wanting to move on. The feeling of wanting to take action and make something happen, but you're just like, I don't know what though, and I don't know what to do, and I don't know what to do. So it's like an itch that you can't scratch. We have the King of Cups. There's compassion and, and and there's understanding towards you in an authoritative way. So now I'm softening towards the authority of it all. Unless they're competing, I feel like you might have a boss that is especially emotionally intelligent, something that you value, but something that is, is good, but you also need, have a desire to move on. Um, so I can see why that would make things conflicted. Like you'd be self, you have the power to leave and do better and do whatever you want, but you have this, emo this person, this leader that is emotionally intelligent that you lose in the process. So it holds you still. You have the two of swords, not wanting to make a decision, being indecisive, wanting to hold in the same spot. Not to mention the emperor is a four, so that's a very stationary number. So it's just, I feel like some of you just really want to move on upwards, maybe level up. Um, but are you still holding still because of the emotional reasons like i like working here i like being here i like being with this person i like hanging out with this person. I like, but i don't want things to change i don't want to deal with that and let me just let me just keep doing this and see what happens you got the blindfold on here you got the blindfold on there it's just like you know whether you're happy or not it's a situation you know whether or not you're being complacent or not at a situation and you know what you're doing when you just kind of hover and linger and you two of swords it you're indecisive you're just kind of hmm. and it's something that is, is actually affecting the outcome of your life. Because maybe you do it often, I'm not sure. But I don't think, you, it's not a Leo thing. You guys are, like, people have to tell you guys to sit down. So I think that if you're even holding yourself in a complacent area, a place where you don't feel passionate, a place where you don't feel like your purpose is being fulfilled, no destiny up in there, I feel like, you know, again, and then also the strength card shows perseverance. You've been at it for a long time. You've been, you know, inching your way towards where you want to be exhibiting emotional intelligence as well i think that some of you have reached a place where you feel like you've done everything you can do you've tried to shake hands you've tried to be nice be friendly you've tried to do your work you tried to you know elevate but i feel like you're like sure you love the fact that there's pancake tuesdays and you love the fact that there's birthday cakes and all that stuff and but I think that some of you guys have been doing for a long time that you've been complacent, that you haven't reached the level that you wanted to, the star power, the potential, the belief has begun to dwindle. You're looking for reasons to feel that inspiration again. And then also your, your drive, your motivation is worn down. And some of you are like, oh, well, that's within me and I need to activate it somehow. And it's like, hey, no, also where you are isn't activating it. And maybe taking a move in any direction is something that'll help activate it rather than trying to, dare I say, heal in the places that is hurting you. Um, ascend from the place that is hurting you. So the strength card is also also means you you could be associating with the Leo. This is Aquarius and Cancer, Aries. Um, but there's there's just quite a few swords. So any air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, could be involved. But it just generally feels like the theme of the month is like, you know, you 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 know what to do. And even though you may not be doing anything about it because of complacency, because of, oh, I don't have energy, I don't have time, but just acknowledge that that is what's happening, but there's also just this desire to move on, to ascend, and that itself is, is, is tangible, and it's something that tells you that it's time. It's time. It's time to kick it up into high gear. It's time to drive into a Mario Kart star so that you can go, and, and, and like, you know, be about it, about it. 
And if you're tired and you're like, maybe it's time to go to the doctor. Maybe it's time to find some weight. Maybe it's time to join the gym. Maybe it's time to change the diet. Maybe something, you know, something to activate that energy because I feel like that star energy is really important to you. And especially being a Leo, I think that you guys are, you guys like to be excited about something. So um, pretty important this month. All right, so hold still if you want to, but just acknowledge that that's what you're doing. Otherwise, get ready. Let's start getting ready. Let's start doing warm-ups because you're, you, when you get ready, when you get ready, a mm, bunch of stuff happens, okay? So there it is, Leo. That's your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and you know what? If you'd like a candle, a natural wax, a natural wax scented candle like this one, or any fragrance oils, I got you. And check out my Etsy shop. There's a link in the description. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.